Okay, so we're doing a seven minute game now, which is a blitz game in this format. Okay, let's just push through the center here. Let's have a look at this um, fella. 1700 across the board, okay, basically. So let's just grab this pawn here and attack the queen. Develop the knight and push through the center here, opening up the dark square bishop. And shall we small bishop and castle? So he's doing all preventative type maneuvers and just, just develop this through x-ray and through to the queen. Bishop comes out. Is there anything else that we can do which is slightly annoying? Um, here, but it's no dice really. Um, shall we take? Shall we just develop the knight? But it's going nowhere at this moment. It's a bit too rushy. She's just going to bring the queen up. And I'm going to bring the bishop back. See if he's going to disrupt his pawns in front of his king. Doesn't do that. So he's supporting his knight, it looks like. So I'm going to face off his queen with two more, another piece. So if it all kicks... Um, attacking the bishop because it's on the queen. It's attacking the higher piece. And let's take this knight off the board. Now he's taking his queen off of that line. So we could bring our rook here facing off their queen. If it was going to be so looking to be damaged so let's go here so x-ray and through to the queen through to the king so if it kicks off then can we make it kick off that's the thing that would be an interesting situation Do -do. not just yet let's go with the knight up here subliminally potentially it makes them forget about this pawn and that type of stuff and uh, we've still got the rook facing off the queen so long term damage potentially that's what we're looking at this is a short game so I need not get into long long play thinking so he's moved the knight back we're really interested in trying to damage this pawn somehow if I swing across here I don't think that does it does it if I bring this bishop here though and attack that pawn it still doesn't really do it too much so we could just go simple and just take the knight off the board does the queen take or does the rook the bishop take bishop probably because it needs to come off the back we're still looking to give some potential attack here but his pawn's just going to drop which again helps us to disrupt the pawns in front of his king Gary I suppose so I'm actually going to do that so we can expect this and then maybe we can Oh, so he's attacking the pawn here, but if we push up, oh, he's not actually, he's really coming to defend the pawn here, isn't he? See so if we put a double dose on there, or rather here, he's still got three pieces protecting there. So if we came across here, he brings his rook down, bishop's not going to take, bishop takes, bishop takes, yeah, he's got loads and he's got the pawn as well. But at least we're making them do stuff that they didn't really want to do. Our queen could come here, but his queen is there. I was looking at trying to come for this pawn. So we have created something, but we just need to be able to finish it off. Time is running down. Could put the rook up just to get this one behind. He simply drops. Rooks have no place in the center of the board, but I'm throwing it up there anyway. it's like one of those it's almost like a fake attack because he's got many pieces defending it's just that it's yeah because the rook is opposite the king it's like and um, basically opposite the rook it makes them panic a little bit so he does have sights of this but um, our pawn is protecting the rook so the queen could come here but it'll get taken 
and if we bring our rook here to attack as well he still has three pieces defend so we need to get four pieces in there I don't think we're going to get time to do it our one here looks like a strange place for his queen to be put so if we continue with this anyway trying to and he's yeah we're not going to be fast enough he's going to get his rook there and he's protected it well we did try just in case they were falling asleep or something because uh, the idea is to bring this here and then he brings his rook there and then we can attack his queen but then we lose this pawn so might as well do that Okay, two minutes I'm on now, need to move a bit sharpish, okay so he's forgetting about this situation, let's go here just to see if he's um, totally forgot it, if this pawn moves he does have like attack on this pawn area, and it's not like I'm going to be sacrificing the peat, whoa, if we take his pawn takes, rook takes, Bishop doesn't have to take though. And then if we took there, then he comes down, puts a check on our king. That not that's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's go here, swing the bishop back, attacking the rook. Maybe. So I'm changing track now because that's not definitely not going to work. And his queen is looking to maybe come round the back or something. Let's attack the rook while we're thinking. Is he trying to squeeze here to come for this pawn? Looks like he is. Let's attack it. Okay, let's um, go here. Need to move a bit swift now. They're only moving fast now because my time is running down and it's a zero increment so I might not talk for some of this now. We have an idea of sorts. Um, I don't think he's going to allow us to get this pawn here. Oh, well, he's doing it the backward way around, but okay. Either way, supporting that area. Let's push here. He might just leave it because he'll want his pawn. He's wanting to protect this square. We're trying to target this square. 1 minute 59. Because I did a whole heap of chit chat, didn't I? Rook's defending here, but I don't think he's taking. He wants to keep this here. He might even push down onto our rook. And then what do we do? We're going to have to retreat. And then we actually lose the pawn. Oh, he's not doing that. He's wanting to keep the pawn there. He's on this pawn with his rook. Ooh, okay. One minute forty seven. Pressure, pressure. No increment. It's got two pieces on there, pawn. Man, how weak are these? But I just can't get to them. Sad times. Sad times. Just 
trying to turn it into an aggressive king but it's not really a nice position for it not really do you know I think I've done that wrong because he can just come down here I suppose the rook can take which is a saving grace because if we took here his rook takes then he's winning all my pieces uh, come on I'm running out of time I am running out of time that's just to do a move I'm running out of time if they don't go for a risk then yeah they're just going to go for a draw it looks like yeah they're going for a draw I can't yeah sorry about that yeah I just had to go for a draw I don't there was nothing let's have a look at this annoying evaluation if it's showing that we're winning then I'll be really kicking myself just give it some time to think zero zero yes let's just move it just to make sure that yeah oh wait a minute we were winning oh hold on hold on oh what is that winning arrow now we were going to a position we went to that position going well we're just doing a move to do a move and it's jumped up plus one Rook e5. Well, that's where I went to, isn't it? Rook e5. What are you on about? Yeah, Rook e5. Rook f e1. So, what are you going to do with that? Plus 0.8. Rook b8. Rook b8. What's that? Rook b8, Rook c1. Oh, I'll give it up. That's not a proper win. That's dancing around. No, it was a draw. Yeah, it was a fair draw. I'm happy with that. Yeah, so that's when I start, you know, questioning the computer moves type thing. It's like, well, it's not a clear win, and it's going to take ages for it to develop a win out of that, even a computer. So, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that we worked it quite nicely got to a position whereby both of us uh, couldn't find a clear way through at all uh, it looked scrappy but we were tar both of us were targeting the weak areas as best possible um, I felt like I was putting a lot of pressure on this particular pawn but then they, they had their defensible rationales if I'd have gone crazy and over egged it then I would have lost the position and they would have been able to take advantage and the rhythm of the pawns would have been on their side at that point so yep really comfortable with that nice steady draw